Hey there, future radiographers. Today, we're diving into a fascinating technique that's like a superhero move for imaging the radial head and coronoid process. Imagine having a secret weapon for cases when patients can't fully extend their elbows. That's where the axiolateral projection coil method comes to the rescue. Positioning power. Picture this. Your patient is like the star of the show, seated at the end of our radiographic stage. If it's an elbow emergency, they're reclining like a superstar. We're talking elbows, humerus and wrist joints, striking a pose on the same runway of awesomeness. Strike, a pose, patient style. Now, let's talk about elbow. Our patients got style, pronating the hand and bending the elbow like they're showing off their best angles. For radial head, it's a fierce 90-degree flex, while coronoid process rocks an 80-degree flex. And guess what? The elbow's not the only star, the IR, image receptor, is center stage, making sure the spotlight's on the elbow joint. Central ray magic. Think of yourself as the director of this radiographic blockbuster. For radial head, you're aiming the central ray towards the shoulder at a 45-degree angle while coronoid process takes the opposite route at a 45-degree angle away from the shoulder. The central ray enters the joint at mid-elbow, revealing the elbow's inner secrets. Lights, camera, action, structures, unveiled. When the lights come on, you're revealing the magic, a peek inside the elbow's hidden world. It's like opening a treasure chest that showcases an open joint between the radial head and capitulum or the coronoid process and trochlea. It's all about giving you a VIP pass to see pathologic processes or trauma like a detective on the case. Evaluation. Extravaganza. All right, future experts, time to evaluate the showstopper. For radial head, you're on the lookout for a clear shot. No trespassing. Proper collimation. Check. Radial head strutting its stuff? Check. Humeral epicondyles adding a little drama? Check. And don't forget the details, from the tuberosities pose to that flexed elbow at 90 degrees. But wait, there's more. For coronoid process, it's all about that elongated profile. Open joint space? Check. Elbow flexed at 80 degrees? Check. And remember, we're all about the deets. From soft tissue to those intricate bony patterns, it's like a fashion show for anatomy. Now, here is an example. Let's start with the A, lateral projection of the elbow. In this view, we can see a fracture of the radial head. However, there's a bit of a challenge. Bony overlap is making it difficult to get a precise assessment of the extent of the fracture line. Imagine trying to solve a puzzle with some of the pieces slightly covering each other. This is where our next projection comes into play, moving on to B, the axiolateral projection, also known as the coil method. This view is like using a different angle to solve that puzzle. With this technique, we get a clear and unobstructed look at the fractured area. In this particular case, we can see that the articular fracture displaced, involving the posterior third of the radial head. It's as if we found the missing piece of the puzzle that was hidden before, so, students, what have we learned? Different projections provide us with valuable insights. The lateral projection gives us an overview, but sometimes it's like looking through foggy glasses due to bony overlap. That's when the axiolateral projection comes to the rescue, offering a sharp and detailed view. Just like how you might look at an object from different angles to fully understand its shape and features. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give me a shout. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.